<laughs> oh my god. That's one I can never get anyone to get. That's good. Oh. Yeah, that didn't hurt. Oh, that would hurt. Let's start with some easy chiropractic stuff. Back pain, neck pain? Always. Always. Mm -hmm. Which one's worse or where? I get a lot of lower back pain and then like right up where my back meets my neck. Mm -hmm. How far back do you remember having the lower back pain? Months? Years? Years. Yeah. Did I you cheered, so. Okay. Did your back hurt while you were doing cheer or was it after? Um, during and after. How often do you have the low back pain? Is it like an everyday thing? Is it just with activity? Yeah, it's like until I crack my own back, okay. it's not relieved. Alright, how often do you have to do that? Like th two, three times a day. Do you stretch at all? No, I definitely should. That's the key to cracking less. Have you ever had any pain that goes down your legs? Sometimes I'll get like my hips pop out a lot too. Okay. And it'll like send little streaks down my legs. All right, so let's talk about the neck pain. That's probably like in the last year or two. Any accidents, injuries there? Car accidents, mm -hmm. falls, trauma. I totaled my car at the end of last year. Rammed into the guardrail on the highway, so I definitely got like whipped around. But mm. I never went to the doctors to see if I got whiplash or anything. All right, we'll check for whiplash today. Uh, did you have neck pain before that, or has it been since that? Not as bad before that. Definitely, it definitely had has gotten worse. All right, back. Do you get headaches ever? Yes. Lately, it's been more frequent. I've had one this week for like four days. All right. How much water do you drink? Lately, I've been doing a lot better. Okay. Drinking like two bottles a day. Well, how big are the bottles? Twenty ounce bottles. Oh, okay. Just All you need is one more. Okay, you're right there. That's perfect. Yeah. I didn't start drinking water until I was like 30 if it makes you feel any better. So you're way ahead of me. How's your diet? Like I get these little sick feelings in my stomach every morning and that like pretty much turns off my appetite for the day. You get that every morning? Yeah. Like it's not even nauseous. Like I don't feel like I need to throw up. It just feels like my body is like going like that Good. really hard. Have you ever been to a chiropractor before? No. Okay, how do you feel about it? I have been saying, like, the past year, all the time, I'm like, man, if I could afford a chiropractor, I'd be there every week. All right, looking at the feet first, uh, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. A little bit of supination on the right foot, slightly more than the left foot, but the heel strike, mid stance, and toe off look mostly symmetric. It's a little bit of eversion from toe off to heel strike during the leg swing. The knees are slightly pointed towards each other. Good. Yeah, I never understood that. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, very good. You noticed it. Not quite enough to call it a genu valgum. Definitely present. Okay, looking at the hip swing, it looks like a higher right hip from now. It looks pretty symmetrical. And shoulder height looks like high on the left with a head tilt to the left as well. Definitely a high left shoulder and head tilt. Yep. And then there's just a little rotation to the left in the cervical spine too. We'll see if that repeats itself. Okay, arches are decreased moderate lead of bowing here. So maybe there is some pronation after the eversion uh, from the heel down to toe off, heel down, toe off mid stance. We're probably gonna see a little bit of pronation there with the decreased arches. We're close together here, but it's not quite a genuine valve. And then you know, stand even on both feet. Definitely a high left hip in the standing. Yeah, and then just a little bit of a rotation to the left as well. Right. Look straight up at the ceiling. Yeah, but then when, when during extension, the head comes off to the left. All right, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine, okay? I'm going to do a very gentle scan with the back of my fingers, which are more sensitive to temperature. Okay, there's a lot of moisture at the top in between the shoulder blades, and then, and then it kind of gets a little dry through the thoracic, and then becomes normal and symmetrical down here in the lumbosacral area. 
but your muscles are working harder up here for sure. There's excess heat. This upper left cervicothoracic region right here, C7, T1, is very tight compared to the right. I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that tender right there? Feels nice. <laughs> that feels good? Yeah. Okay, so we have some tension in the muscle there. It's most likely rhomboid. We'll trace that over to the top of the scapula. Now, this is actually going through the path of an inter intercostal muscle. So, you ever have any issues with breathing? Sometimes I get a little wheezy. Start having to use my Bifrin's inhaler. There's a very mild curvature here in the thoracolumbar spine. Wing two, can you crack this part of your back right here? Oh yeah, I can crack it real good. <laughs> These two dimples here mark the SI joints. Do you have tenderness right or left? Mm -mm. Lower SI tenderness mm, that here. That feels a little weird. This left one over here? Yeah. Right one isn't as much. Okay, so if we're tender here with a high right, the high left hip, that's it could just be you leaning this way and take pressure off of that lower SI joint. Back to center. And open. Center. Okay, there's no movement here on the left SI joint. So tenderness, no movement. Okay, we do have some loss of the cervical lordosis here. Just some postural stuff that you can keep in mind. Yeah, my posture is terrible. <laughs> Well, posture is just a mindset. As long as you are aware of it, therefore you're practicing. Okay, definitely have some cervical thoracic transition here with some rib involvement on the right. All right, let's do this. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Back up. Bring your right ear down. Back up. Which side felt tight? Tighter. This side. Left lateral flexion. All right, first let's check for scoliosis and curvature. Go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. No curvature, no scoliosis here, no signs of rib humping anywhere in the thoracic spine. All right, I'm gonna test the movement of the sacrum and flexion and extension. Testing the right side, go forward again. Back to center. Okay, good movement, mutation and counter mutation on the right. Let's do one more time on the left. Back up. We have a restriction here again on the left. Any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? Mm. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Mm, a little pain. Just feels it on the left. I'm going to push down into L5. Pain here? Mm-mm. L4. Any pain here? Mm. Movement. Right in the thoracic lumbar transition now. Pain, discomfort, tension here? Mm-mm. Right, left, or both? Both. Ah. Tender. Tender right here? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll check the right lumbar here. And also, we'll have to figure out what's happening in this T1, T2 area. That's tender, right? Mm, no, the right's a little hurt, but. Okay, left, right. Mm, left hurts. What about this one? Left, right. Left. Left. That thing right there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, these are all, both T1 and T2 are moved to the right. It's causing spasm of this rib right here, the intercostal muscles, and we need to bring it back this way.
nice gentle breathing.
very simple breathing. I'm going to do a stretch of the spine. Okay, this is the sacral tuberous ligament. I'm going to follow your sacrum down to your coccyx here. Is there tender here? Any tenderness here? A little bit. Any tenderness over here on this side? Oh, more there, yeah. Right, let's go back to this guy. Still tender? Yeah. And nice, gentle breathing. Okay, rechecking, same thing. Still tender? No, that's bad. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. Follow your breath down like this with my hands, and then at the end, we're gonna give a little push, okay? All right, let's give it a try here. Nice and gentle, take a deep breath in. And out. Okay, not bad, got the one that I wanted, but there's more. Oh my God. Oh, how nice. <laughs> That's one I can never get anyone to get. I'll like have my friends uh, put my arms across my chest and then lift me up and I can never get it. That segment's too high for that move with the arms across the chest. This is a tough one to get on your own up here. There's still one more up here though. All the way out now with the shoulders down. Good. Let that shoulder relax right there. I'm going to bring your head over to the side like this. Try to let me do the work. You can just relax. Then when we get to the end, I'm going to push in that direction like that, okay? Okay, nice and gentle. Okay, we're going to bring the head over to the side. Good. And then loose. It goes just like your shoulders drop in here. Very nice. That was a good relax. I think there's just a little bit more. Hold on. Just go, let it, let your neck and shoulders go. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> that was deep. It was. <laughs> Slouch down here like this. Okay, now you're gonna take a deep breath in and then as you breathe out, you're gonna lean back, but hold the slouch, okay? Okay, deep breath in. Lean back as you blow it out. Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one. I don't wanna move now. <laughs> Nice and gentle. We find the vestibular ridge right there with the thenar contacting the lower S4 with the piezy form. Okay, I'm gonna follow your breath. We're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, let's give it a try. Let your shoulders relax as you breathe in and out. Shoulders sinking in. Good. Oh, oh my god. Okay, lean your back. Turn your head to the right, back to center, turn your head to the left, back to center. See one left showing up with a high left ear, anterior atlas, maybe some occiput.
Nice and gentle breathing. Good. You can close your eyes. I'm going to follow your breath out like this. And as you breathe out, we're going to go like that and push like that. Okay. Good. We'll follow the next breath out like this. Good. Sink in. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good. Good breathing. Oh, my God. Jesus. I'm going to go down two segments here. C3. Okay. Nice and gentle breathing. Good. Sinking in. Good. Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> that was weird. I felt that one on this side. Okay, left side now. First, I'm going to test this side. You see, let the shoulders relax here. Seven, six, five. Okay, this is six, five, six left. Good breathing, sinking. Oh my god. <laughs> Surprised I haven't cussed yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gently. Oh God! <laughs> Lord, I didn't think that one was going to. Ah, it gets like more intense as we go. It's because you're tightening and tensing. Put your head in the center. There you go. Oh. Little fullness. Oh, that feels like it's going to crack nicely. Oh, yeah. Needed that. Oh. Got one more. All right, push out to the side. Push, 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 push. Relax. Okay, uh, hold your knees together as hard as you can. Hold. All right, the first is the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. We find it by first finding the belly button and then the ASIS here. We connect these two points. That's where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Here's just here. No, that's a little high, hold on. Here's just there. Tender? Mm-hmm. Okay, breathe into my finger here. Like push it, push it. Yeah, there you go, good belly breathing. I learned how to breathe with my diaphragm since choir in high school. Nice. This is a great practice. In the morning when you feel that thing in your belly, even just laying down and doing the belly breaths will help. The next is the pylori sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. This is active right now. This is that water you just drank. We're gonna go like this. Go ahead and breathe into your belly. Good, breathe, belly breathing. Oh, okay. Almost there, it's still. That was it, I think. That's yeah, clear. Breath in. Out. This is the neck thing, isn't it? Yeah. All right, just like the other adjustments, we're going to follow your breath, and as you breathe out, we're gonna go in this direction. All you have to do is keep your teeth together, okay? This one's slightly more aggressive than the other ones, but it's not, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, listen, though. people love this, okay? And if you crack your back all the time, and I can already tell how you responded to the other adjustments, you're actually gonna love this. Okay, it's okay to be a little nervous, it's different. All right, let's give it a try. Deep breath in. Good, and now sinking in. You can close your eyes, there's nothing to look at. Oh my god. Breathe. <laughs> oh my god. Breathe. <laughs> Jesus Lord. <coughs> okay, yeah, there's the words. <laughs> good, breathe, breathe, keep breathing. I could cry. I heard a lot, but in a good way. Yeah. 
Okay, that was good. Yeah. Holy crap, that was good. That was a lot. I thought you already got it all out there. You did not. <laughs> you just right. I feel like a new woman. How's the neck feel, neck shoulders? Yeah, I feel, like, I feel taller. <laughs> and my shoulders feel lighter. My back doesn't hurt. It's nice. My neck feels like almost like over cracked. Like, I don't know if I could crack it the next day after that. <laughs> Middle finger both sides, actually. Ooh. Push this one here. Okay, there. Ooh. Ha ah, What the heck? That was a weird feeling. Ah! I can't tell if it's good or bad. <laughs> Is this more tender on the left or right? Left. Is this more tender on the left or right? Mm, it's kind of okay on both. That feels like that, right? Yeah. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, first we're going to do the left side, okay? So I'm going to contact the um, rib pad right here with my thumb. So I'm going to go underneath of your arm like this. Contact the very top of the rib cage there. Okay, I'm going to reinforce that with my other hand like this, Aaron. Good. Let your arms relax completely. Then look up at the ceiling. Good. It's going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. No, no, it's okay. Let your Look up at the ceiling. Lean your head back on me. Just like let that relax. Good. Oh. Oh. That hurt. Is that still tender? No, it's bad. Okay, left and right is one more tender than the other. Right. Okay, right and left. Is it still more tender on the right? Same, better, or worse? A little bit.